Hello guys, uh, I will be working on this iPad 6 generation today. This repair is a little bit uh, different than just uh, replacing the charging port because it's not charging. Otherwise board is um, okay with the known good charge battery. So charging port been replaced which perfect. U2IC was replaced. Oh, it's hard to know where I am at the oh, Okay, go this way. Yeah, as you can see. Go down. So, but it's still not charging. The reason behind how to check is you won't charge. Okay, so now the cable is connected and if we check here, what we getting? See, it's not even stable. It's 0 0.6, 0 0.5 and sometimes it goes to 1. Of course, we should get at least 3.5 and 3.7 volts so that the battery can be charged. So, if we come back here like this and check the 5 volt line and then again 5 volt line is subdivided to 3.5 for the voltage 1.2 and 1.7 so See, it's 3.7 here, 3.7 here, 3.7 here, and if we come back, uh, to the charging IC 5 volt line, we have got 5 volt here, and then we should have on some of this cap 1.7 because the charging port is also replaced so 2.9 which is 3 volt line and then this one is 1.7 and this one here most probably okay so that's all good now we have got 5 volt 3.7 volt but uh, we're not getting 3.7 here on the charging terminals okay so where the problem is let's look at the board view also you may playing everybody yes yes and uh, so okay. here we are now and this is what I'm talking about okay we have to look at this one because this is the 5 volt line which is converted most probably goes to the power IC and so the best way to sort this out see these are battery connectors so yep that's the one so this is how it works i think most probably i think it looks like is it mosfet looks like mosfet so anyway so this is the line which supplies 3.5 3.7 volt line to the battery and this is actually comes from here okay now what we have to check if we are getting 5 volt this capacitor or maybe 3.7 or 5 volt here or on this component here so we will come back here and
Okay. So let's check with that. C uh, three point seven. So we have got three point seven, and then let's check here. We have got. The next, which is looks like a MOSFET, so we get 3.7 here, and and the next thing is okay. I will just bring you back to the board view. This is what I'm talking about. We have got 3.7 here. We have got 3.7 here. So that means we should get 3.7 on these gaps here. Let's go back. These are the caps. See, we are getting 0 0.2, 1.1. This is the same sort of reading which we are getting on the battery terminal. See? Okay, let's bring you to the microscope and yeah so we got 3.7 here but we have got so this is not passing required voltage so that the power IC can deliver 3.7 to the battery so I'm gonna remove this okay It could be this power IC problem, but I don't think so because let's see. We will figure out. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a magic wire here and that magic wire works, works all the time. If you want to buy this magic wire which I'm going to put here, you can let me know and maybe we will put it on our website and you can buy it. This magic wire can fix any charging problems oh come on okay, I will use another soldering iron so it will melt it properly okay and then this magic wire you have to move here here and then solder it okay okay now we will check if our magic wire has done something okay here and got 4.9 here now and now we have to charge the battery and let's see if we have got enough volt here to charge the battery which we do 
Okay. Now let's try. If you can charge the battery. Not the right screw. We'll get the right one. Okay, and let's put this here. It's the charging cable. Oh yeah, check turn on. Drawing one amp. Okay, that's all good. Thank you very much for watching. See you in next video. Bye.